Hey guys, Lord of Chris here with a Disney Dreamlight Valley Guide. This guide is going to cover how to use foraging to make you money. At the moment, there seems to be a lot of YouTube videos up on how to do it with farming, but I've got a technique here using foraging, which is a much more passive method. You don't have to dig, you don't have to plant, you don't have to water. All you have to do is go around collecting the resource nodes once the fruit has spawned on them. You may not know, but you can pick up and move the resources for foraging. It's one of the only resources that you can pick up and move in the game. So I'll quickly show you here the best technique to do this. If you open your map up, foraging resources show up on the map as apples on the screen. These show up in all the different biomes when they're bearing fruit. And then all you need to do is go into the build menu or the furniture menu go to the location that you've seen the, the fruit icon and then pick up the resource node and move it back. As you can see here, I wouldn't be able to collect these two resource nodes because there is a blockage on the bridge. But lo and behold, you can pick up the item and move it directly to your home. So there I've moved the lemon tree and the cherry tree all back, nicely spaced, ready for farming. Obviously, when you first start off, there's going to be a lot less nodes. I'm about halfway through the game. There's my inventory empty. So as you progress through the game, you can move these nodes closer to your home and then farm them as you please. Raspberries take roughly five minutes to spawn. Apples take 10 minutes. Blueberries and bananas, 15. Lemons, 20. Cocoa beans, 25. And cherries, 30. There will be more resource nodes later on but i haven't yet unlocked them another top tip make sure you have a friend that has foraging skill make sure he's hanging out with you so when you go around foraging in these resource nodes every so often he will proc some additional resources as you can see they're falling on the ground as blue I would suggest picking those up as soon as you can because once they're being left for 20-25 seconds they would become static and you need to pick them up manually. Okay, so we've nearly collected all these resource nodes now. Just a few more to go, a couple of cherry trees and I'll show you roughly how much you make per run. Obviously this is dependent on how far you've progressed through the story and what biomes you've unlocked. The more biomes you unlock, the more foraging resources you're going to have. So there, we've got an adequate amount of fruit there. Uh, go to Goofy Stall, which I've got just on the bank of this hill. The stalls can also be moved in the furniture menu. And then we're just going to sell all these to Goofy. And there you go, roughly 4,000 coins with very little effort. There's no farming, no watering involved. Just simply walking around, pressing A to uh, pick up those resources. Easy as that. Give it another 25 minutes, half an hour, and all these will be respawned again, and it'll be another 4,000 coins. Obviously, your friend will improve as you level him up merlin here is only level eight once he's maxed out that those extra resources will proc more often but yeah just go wandering around your own business doing quests and then when you come back every so often you'll have plenty of resources to farm hope you found this guide useful please like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video